Oh, Jesus Christ. Hi, guys. Oh, damn. I don't know what's going on. Ah, uh, my head. I had to put this in. I mean, somebody, they've been, they've been trying to cranalize me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I've been, uh, I guess, getting too close to the truth. And these bastards are, are starting to attack the, 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 you know, the mass. And the, they know the information coming, coming out of here is really, really good. And so uh, they want to attack that. And so uh, this is to, hope, to hopefully protect that uh, whole process. I saw this in a movie once, and it uh, seemed to work pretty good for them. Uh, they would wear these, and of course the aliens that were there coming after them, uh, they wouldn't have a chance in hell to get into this, you know. So I thought I'd try it too, because those guys, they're like, an edit, they're like could be in the same room with you, you know, in, in, a, in a slightly different dimension. And you would even know it, you know. So they they sit down in like in a room with you, and they try to clean their eyes and get in there, and and you know, and it's, it's a sick little game they play with me. I'm tired of it. So I'm striking back, and this is really high tech stuff, you know. And so anyway, I need to have this on while I do this video about silver uh, investing for the the uh, you know the beginner silver investors. I wanted to share with them some stuff about you know, how to how to buy silver, where to buy it, and to get it and stuff, and. And, uh, you know, that's what, what we're talking about here. So, um, okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, show you some silvers, <clears throat> give you some ideas. The bottom line is you can, you can buy silver a couple different places. You can get it on the Internet, of course, and you can also buy it locally. If you live in a fairly large town, you may find some local dealers, coin dealers and stuff that have it. And so that's where you would pick it up. Uh, if you wanted to. A couple advantages one way or the other. Um, sometimes when you buy from the internet you don't pay sales tax and that's good. And uh, and their prices are usually pretty competitive, you know. Uh, if you have a really big dealer in a town you can usually get some also com some competitive prices there too, which I happen to be in a big town and we have a lot of, com and they're like one of the largest ones so it's kinda good. So I get very, just as good as on the internet. Um, so anyway, uh, I just like to go down there, and, you know, and when I get I like to fondle it, you know, <laughs> I like to be able to go down and pick it out and touch it. And that's why I like to buy the real silver, not the paper stuff, because it's so beautiful, and you know, you can hold it and <laughs> you can fondle it, and oh, it's so oh, baby. <laughs> later, later, you and I will we will get together. And, uh, I'll talk to you later. But anyway, um, this is what I want to talk about. Okay, so. Silver, if you watch the markets, there'll be a spot price for silver. And that just means what it's trading for at that moment, the spot price, you know. So take that into consideration. When you buy silver, either on the Internet or, um, you know, uh, at a local dealer, you, they're, you're always going to pay a premium above spot price. So even though you say, yeah, well, it looked like today it was like $13, roughly the day spot price. So if you go in there and uh, to a dealer and you say, I want an ounce of silver, he's not going to sell it to you for 13 bucks. I mean, you know, he, they got to make the money some way, you know, of course. The they should give it to me. But anyway, they got to make a few bucks. So uh, generally speaking, spot price has an average percentage up uh, above whatever. Uh, buy price is usually uh, a little higher than spot price. So, um, for example, um, and, and, and depending on the silver that you're buying, um, there'll be different premiums, of course. So we're going to go through some of that so you understand. Now, the most basic, what they call generic silver. When I walk into my place, they got a big screen up there that says generic silver. Uh, and and uh, what the price is. So let's say the spot price is 13 bucks, and up there on the screen it says generic silver is $15, let's say. So they have a $2 premium per ounce on whatever they're selling. And um, so what I, so usually what they call generic silver will be things like this. Um, you know, just little rounds, or not rounds, but little bar, one ounce bars like this. You know, that, that's considered generic, you know. And it's not a coin, it's not a currency per se it's not a coin that you could has a face value in other words it's just a piece of silver so that's kind of generic and that's that would normally be a generic piece per ounce price per ounce um, here's a round sometimes rounds depending on the quality of the rounds will have a little higher premium than generic silver but again not quite as high as uh, an actual coin with a face value like a silver eagle or something so uh, here's a silver round very pretty but um, you know uh, you'll pay a little bit more than, say, just a little uh, bar like I just showed you. Um, there's a lot of weird stuff out there. I picked this one up. I think it's like three ounces. Uh, this was from Mexico. It's a pretty piece. Um, and again, I got this for just regular uh, generic price, you know, what they call generic above spot. And, uh, and uh, no premium on it. It was very, very nice little piece, though. Okay. 
Now, um, we also have, uh, oh, this is my one of my beautiful ones. This is, a, I bought, this is a, a generic price, but look at the size, that's a silver, that's a one pound silver eagle. Now, it's just a generic silver, but it's a kind of a neat collector's piece because you don't see too many one pound. Uh, and that's kind of a copy of an actual currency, which I'm going to show you. Okay, so this, again, this piece I got for just uh, as generic silver, so a, a little bit above spot price. Now, there is also, um, hold on, I got to dig down here. Okay, they come in these little tubes when you buy a lot of them. This one has uh, 20 in it, I think. They hold 20 coins. And these are silver eagles. These are beautiful. This is actually a currency. And the face value of this is actually, um, um, well, it's a, silver, it's, it's a silver dollar, but it's worth, of course, a lot more than silver. Now, this is a silver eagle minted by the United States Mint, okay? And uh, I can't really get it too clear in there, but it's basically an eagle on the back, and that's a silver eagle. And uh, you pay a, a little bit more per currency for these because they're more collectible, because they are an actual currency. It's a one dollar silver dollar. It's pure silver, like the other rounds and stuff are. But you'll pay a little bit more because um, you know it has a better collector's value. So uh, you wouldn't buy this for the price you would buy generic silver for above spot price. So if spot price is thirteen dollars, and you can buy generic silver like one of these for fifteen dollars you might pay eighteen bucks for this one or nineteen bucks because uh... it's also a better quality uh, so and if i go to sell it of course they're going to give me a little bit more for it too because of, of the same reason um, you know so that's something to keep in mind so that's basically it's not real complicated just remember you got your spot price that's where silver is you know any given day uh... you've got and then you've got levels of premiums above that uh... for just the generic silver like we talked about you got, um, you know, these little generic pieces of silver or one ounce, you don't pay as much. Um, if you go with something like a silver eagle, that's actual currency and more of a collector's item uh, and will have a little more value over time, you'll pay a, a little more premium, uh, quite a bit more premium than you would for just generic silver. So I hope that helps. And, of course, bars like this, we got a couple of different bars here. Here's a popular one, the Wall Street Mint. That's a 10-ounce bar. And then we've got the, uh, here's an AMOC, which is a pretty popular mint. Uh, mine or whatever and uh, those sometimes you pay a little a bit of a premium above uh, I noticed they well as things start tightening up with silver they were charging me a little bit of a premium uh, more than so than generic but normally you should be able to buy these uh, as a generic not so much as a, you know so just a generic price above spot but uh, you know it just depends but you know the bottom line is you're buying this stuff you're gonna hold on to it they'll probably bury me with my silver you know it's, it's so beautiful oh god I'm going to lay between these little babies and rub them around them all over my body. We'll get very sexy together. Okay, so that's kind of the basic concept behind buying silver. It's not very complicated at all. It's beautiful to collect. You can fondle it any time with your little selfs at night. And uh, just don't get any cream or any sick, you know, don't do that. <laughs> it's not the cream and these don't match, right? Keep them clean, you know, and I have a little snot rag I wipe them with and, you know, want to keep them nice and clean. And I try not to fondle them too much because, you know, <laughs> I want them to be pretty. But you can't help it. It's, you know, and that's what's so cool about silver, you know. You, it's something you can hold in your hand and, you know, it's got value and it's beautiful. You know, paper is just paper it's crap and you know it's, it's nothing to it you know but this is actually something you can hold you know and another thing too think about this paper you like I told you before you can just print that shit out like you know as quick as you can but this stuff you know what you know how many man hours it took to mine this stuff out of the ground and and to you know the men and had to do it and it took how it took energy you know to actually get this out of the ground so you know it has value if you want to replace 10 ounces of silver you're going to have to go to the down somewhere to mine into the earth and pick it up out of the ground so i'll talk to you guys later i'm trying not to i'm trying to watch <laughs> i don't know how much longer i can do this but uh, i'm trying to hold in there for you guys so i'll talk to you later keep talking keep talking to me